Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Conceptually, a hydraulic press is about the simplest metalworking project that you could possibly come up with. Uh, because it really boils down to building a metal frame that you can stick a cheap hydraulic bottle jack in so that you've got something to press against. Uh, now this is an old uh, hydraulic press that I built years ago just by welding up this frame out of some scrap iron. But today I want to build a little bit more sophisticated hydraulic press. Same general concept, but I want to add a pressure gauge so that I can monitor how much force I'm applying with the jack. Uh, and I want to make the press adjustable for height. I started by cleaning up some scraps of railroad iron on my milling machine from which I would make the cross members of the hydraulic press. In each of them, I drilled a pair of one inch holes to accommodate connecting rods, which I would make from one inch all thread. In the lower support, I also drilled some clearance holes for pipe fittings that would be necessary to connect the hydraulic jack to a pressure gauge. In the upper support, I drilled an alignment hole and a transverse threaded hole to accommodate a set screw. I welded a couple scraps of pipe to the lower support to serve as feet. Next, I drained the oil out of a 12-ton hydraulic bottle jack and proceeded to disassemble it. I measured the effective diameter of the piston so that I would be able to correlate pressure to applied force. I also cleaned up the end of the ram a little bit on my lathe and drilled a central alignment hole. So here is our hydraulic ram after I've finished machining it. Um, you know, going into this, I was a little concerned that this might be difficult to machine because I figured this uh, load-bearing, you know, centerpiece would be, uh, you know, like a quenched and tempered alloy steel. Uh, you know, probably comparable to grade 8 bolt stock or maybe even a little bit tougher. But actually, it was really easy to machine. So now I'm thinking this has to be either some sort of a free machining steel or cast iron. Uh, that was not a problem after all. I drilled a hole through the base of the jack and tapped it with a pipe thread. Now all that remained was to reassemble the jack and assemble my hydraulic press. So at this point I would say that my new instrumented hydraulic press is complete. Uh, I have a variety of plans for this that may work their way into future episodes, but until then, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.